Hello and welcome to today's edition for Cracking the Cryptic where we're going to take a look at my solve of the, the puzzle this morning, uh, 2nd of October. Um, should be appearing on the screen now. Um, I hope some of you who've already had a look at the puzzle noticed that um, nine across there was basically a clue that we'd studied before. I think we, we did it back at the start of September when I did an episode on and lit clues and it, it all but appeared in this crossword. Um, you don't don't see that as often as you might think that you, you would. You know, a clue just being almost the same as a clue you've seen before. Certainly not within the space of about a month. Um, but but uh, there you are. So you should nine across would definitely have been a very quick fill for um, for people who've been with us from the start. Um, see, I made a um, not not a bad start, I suppose. I did take a look at one down. I, I thought that was going to be lopsided, but um, no joy. And from now on, what I'm trying to do is to work on the the bitty the bitty clues as much as I can. Um, just because they seem, in my mind at least, to give me a little bit more you know, purchase on what's going on. Um, and I'm always quite pleased if I get, you know, a start like this, you know, getting four across in, getting six down in. Um, you, you feel like you could record a decent time. Um, so what's this one? Tilda, that's, yeah, edit reversed with um, around an L for line, so we should have... We should, we should be okay with that. Eight down, home to Orthodox Church. Again, this is something that we see a lot with um, uh, with clever setters. What they tend to do is to use words that they know experienced solvers will key into uh, to mislead. So when I see home to Orthodox Church, I'm thinking of in immediately and then Orthodox Church, well, I, w I want some abbreviation for church there, so a, a C or something like that. Then not entirely, new, okay, that looks like it's an N. And then another church. Um, and it takes a while, and in fact it takes me to solve allergic for me to realise that actually, you know, the definition is home to Orthodox Church. And I'm looking for green, which is not entirely new, without the N. Uh, followed by CE, which we've seen before, is a, a very standard abbreviation. Um, yeah, so nice misdirection there. 17 across, I don't think I solved with just the P in. Um, and then Africa, I do solve, but I solve too too slowly. So here's a difference, I think, between you know me and the very quickest setters and the solvers in the world. You know, I've got AF at the start, and it takes me, I don't know, 10 seconds to get the fact that I need to to put the air reversal around the C for Africa, whereas I think, um, I think, as I say, that's a write-in for, for, for the speediest people. Um, freezing, cold inside, lorry, well, I think the only tricky part about that really is knowing the word um, Arctic for a lorry. I mean, if, if you know that, I mean, there aren't that many words for lorry. Um, ute, is that a lorry? Might be. Truck. Um, so when you know if you if you know Arctic, you can get Arctic very quickly. Um, snow drifting in top elevated part of ship is another example of a clue where I'm I'm slower than I should be. I can see it's an anagram of snow. Um, I think I thought it was an anagram of snow in crown, um, which is which it obviously isn't. But I think again the very best set solvers there will will look at part of ship. 5 4 beginning with C, and they won't almost worry about the wordplay. They'll just fill in crow's nest as almost a quick crossword clue. Um, whereas I I think I pay too much attention to wordplay in general. Um, so if you like, my quick crossword skills aren't quite as good as they should be. I mean, I have got it, so it's not been a disastrous, a disastrous solve on that one. Um, and now I've, I've managed to sort out that this was perhaps a decent solve so opening of Appalachian trail state put back with little enthusiasm but I managed to get apathetic out relatively quickly there um, and then 13 across 
I think I spend the time here, and again, what you see I'm doing is I'm keying in on the wordplay. I see ecstasy with speed, and I can get the E rate from that at the back. And then it's just a case of trying to sort out what the definition is, and then, you know, the, all this stuff about not for youngsters. It turns out the definition is mingle with corrupt element, question mark, for adulterate. Um, you know, which which is which is doable, but I've I've very much backed into that once I've got the, the final five letters of the answer. A policeman, I wrote in with a chuckle, given what we discussed earlier. Three down was odd. I mean, to practice for concert, I can see as a pun on pick up the pieces. If you come round, do you, do you pick up the pieces? Well, I suppose maybe, but it's um. I have to say, I found that definition there slightly strange. The other point I, I struggled a bit is valetudinary here, which is not really a word I know. I think valetudinary, or is that, that that's is that a part? Is that a word for a hypochondriac? Um, uh, it may be. I mean, hypochondria is one of the few ailments I haven't suffered from. Um, so I am familiar with um, this sort of condition, but I have to say, mm, I, I mean, the, to be honest, the set is generous because it's very clearly an anagram, an adult, very um, around the, the one or the a. So I was, I was definitely on the lookout for whether or not it was a one or an a in there. And finally, I work out gunslinger. Um, and you can see I've gone back to 14 across here, somewhat uns not quite certain that this is the answer. Um, I think in the end I convinced myself it couldn't really be anything else. Um, one question we get from time to time is, is it, are, are the crosswords sort of staggered in difficulty? Um, you know, is Monday's puzzle necessarily easier than Friday's? Now, I think some people think that that is true. In, in my view, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think perhaps Monday's puzzle is a shade easier, but I, I'm not sure it's by design. Um, you know, I have, and I certainly am, I am aware that some Monday puzzles, um, some months are vicious. So it may just be the way that the cycle works with the times. You always expect Mondays to be easier, so it's sort of you know confirmation bias when it is, and you forget about the occasions when it isn't. So, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say for a beginner, oh, just do the Monday puzzle because you'll get an easy ride. You may get, you may get a, um, a rude awakening if you, if you do rely on that sort of thing. And what have we got here? More difficult article moved regularly around volume. So again, the way I solved that clue was I saw the round volume bit. And given I already had a DA and a C in, there's only really one place that B can go. And then you've got blank DV at the start and it's a write-in at that point because you can, um, you, can, you can basically be certain what's going on. So what was that? 812. Not too bad. Um, and yeah, a quick run through today uh, just talking talking about you know some of the more interesting clues and also um, feeling quite pleased with ourselves I think that uh, those who've been following us should have had a, a nine-letter word right in there. Anyway, we'll see you again tomorrow, and thanks very much for watching.